Thanks for tuning in again, it's Jonas. And um, by tuning in again, you know that this rod, like I said, hasn't come out of this firearm. Though I have, a few minutes ago, put this back in it, so we'll go through this again. Remove that. Visually observed chamber. Manual inspect chamber. Now we can get rid of this. We know the magazine's not in it. So the magazine off to the side, that's its own group. And we're going to fold this up and get this out the way so I can work on some. Take off this barrel band. Push it on this arm. Push forward on the barrel. Take out our hand guard. And then we should be able to pull that forward and lift the whole rifle right out of its stock and bedding. Let's not lose this screw. Set our stock off to the side. And our handguard or barrel heat shield off to the side. Alrighty. Excuse me. Next thing we're going to do is get this action forward. And then we're going to take out this little pin right here. And now we're going to tap forward on this, on the back of the trigger group, and slide it forward. Set it off to the side. It's its own group. Now we're going to take out our slide spring and operating slide spring rod. those off the side in our bowl now there's a notch see so bring it down never done this before so that's pretty easy and it's its own group now that we've done that slide the bolt forward And let it be a bear because I got gloves on. Looks like we're going to go back to our own manual because there's no way this is just going to lift out the way to do say. So let's go over here to our text. This is why we keep it right. Organization, yes, See this magazine hand
Separate spring from sky rod. Here's all the cut. I'm going to take it off. It's true representative. True representative. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Over there, it's seven. The bug grass the operating lug on the bolt between the thumb and the forefinger of the riser. And moved the bolt so that. I raised it about one inch. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, we got it out. I was going to the wrong end with it. But that's why we keep our literature handy. So, that includes the field strip at the end of it. This is what we have for our layout. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out there, get out there. So then we have these groups right here, which is you see it right here? Our handguard barrel and receiver assembly. We have our operating slide spring and we have in our bowl right here our operating slide spring guide rod. We have our trigger group retaining pin. <laughs> and we have our Trigger group assembly, our operating slide, and our bolt assembly. I don't have the standard stock on here, so I don't have the oiler and lower, lower swing, sling swivel out. Because we do have that aftermarket polymer stock right there. So, with that being the field strip, we We will go ahead and get this thing back together. This pin just doesn't look right to me. I'm gonna have to look at that explosive view of the this pin. It just looks like it just looks like backyard gunsmithing, doesn't it? Like I said, I've never got into this rifle. I'm glad I did. However. It is a firearm pin, <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> but that's as far as I'm going to break it down because that's what they call a field strip. That's this right here. This is a layout of the bowl. We did improvise in the bowl because I don't like things rolling away. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and put this thing back together. We are going to in reverse. Put our bolt back in. It took the longest to get out. Now it's probably going to take the longest to get back in. I'm shaking because I'm trying to demonstrate this. <laughs> Okay. 
I had to pick a firearm that I didn't have that I don't know Jack Skilly about. And I gotta be going in with it wrong. Somehow. And I lifted it out. So this has to go in. And there we go. 